Now we have Seth from IBM. Could you do an impromptu talk? <laughs> so um, I'm looking at a current scalability problem in the memory hot plug uh, area with regarding uh, the SysFS devices that represent memory blocks uh, if you enable memory hot plug in your system. So um, if you're not familiar, when your system boots and you built your kernel with memory hot plug, um, part of the boot process is creating the memory block devices um, and the representations in SysFS, um, which each have about 20 attributes apiece. And the memory block um, size is determined by, the, by one config variable based on, and there's a certain number of sections in a memory block. Well, for systems with very large amounts of memory, you can have a lot of these blocks. Um, for power systems, uh, due to architectural uh, limitations, uh, we have a, um, a block size of 256 megabytes, <clears throat> which if you have a system with a terabyte of RAM, that's about um, 20,000 memory blocks. Um, sorry, about, uh, about 8,000 memory blocks, which is about 80,000 80, SysFS attributes. It takes a long time to initialize all those things. And uh, it's all done at boot time. The boot is gated until those things are done. <clears throat> and so um, trying to look at ways of, and that situation is only going to get worse, as previously mentioned. Memory sizes are continuing to increase. And um, we move from section size to block size with the memory hot plug paradigm, but it's still bound linearly to the size of RAM in the amount of time that it takes to initialize all these things. So, um, and we're kind of stuck between two different uh, requirements. One is backward compatibility with the existing memory FS layout, or the memory config layout in SysFS, and then being able to bypass this, uh, this gate in the, in the boot process. Um, and the, the longer we wait to do this, the harder it's going to be to undo because there's already people making assumptions that these, these devices are being initialized at boot time and you can make that assumption. And um, if, there, if we're going to change that, then <laughs> we probably need to do it soon. Um, so the, there's a couple of approaches. One is just make a new memory, just make a new layout, deprecate the old one. Um, and then that doesn't solve the boot gating process immediately, but it begins the deprecation process so that we can move to a more scalable layout. Um, another way is to add a boot parameter to toggle between the two layouts. So basically, we can break compatibility with the old layout, just so long as the user has given us a boot parameter saying, I understand that you're going to move to this new layout, and all my tools are, are you know, aware of that and I accept you um, breaking the compatibility, basically. Um, another approach was to, del was to delay the initiali initialization of the memory block devices. Um, so basically, during boot, you'd like stick that work off on a work queue or something like that and continue the boot process, and then you know, that the, the, the device creation would continue but not gate the, the boot process. That, Unfortunately, also has the downside of breaking compatibility. If you're trying to do hot plug things right as the system boots, then not all of your memory devices may be initialized yet. Right, so that is, that was an, the, my fourth thing, and that was uh, something that Dave Hansen mentioned on the list, because this has been in discussion on the list, and I've been trying to uh, optimize this code already, <coughs> excuse me, um, is to create uh, either an extension to SFS, uh, SysFS or kind of a memory F, uh, FS where, you know, if you did an LS on the memory directory, nothing would show up, but if you tried to CD into a memory block device, it would either create it dynamically on the fly or wait till it was available, things like that. Um, that's pretty advanced, uh, pretty invasive. It might be the most elaborate of the solutions. Um, so uh, that's probably all my time. Um, but that, th this is ongoing on the list. Uh, I'd love feedback. Um, it's, like I said, it's kind of stuck between two um, 
conditions that are hard to satisfy simultaneously. So, any questions? All right. Thank you very much.